Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be the items that I have purchased during the month of February. And yes, I have quite a bit, so we're going to get started. Make sure you watch the video all the way through because I'm going to have a surprise at the end. Anyway, at Target, oh, and I have a drugstore and, well, it's mainly Ulta, Target, Holt Look, Nordstrom Rack. Anyway, uh, Target, I got these Q-tip, um, Precision Tip, Taper Tip cotton swabs that are supposed to be for um, using for makeup and I uh, I've actually been looking for these for quite some time and I actually just happened to see them at Target so I got a pack of those <clears throat> also at Target I got these hair pins these are the Giddy um, they're called Bobby Slides they match your hair color I, I wasn't really worried about that the main thing that I wanted was the fact that they are rigid on the top here and so they grip my hair really well and I've been looking for these for a long time I had bought a pack and I really liked them but after you wear hair pins for a while they start to stretch out and then I never seen them again and I just happened to see them at Target the day that my daughter and I was there so got a pack of those and let's see, I think that was, no wait, here's one more thing, one more thing from Target. And this is the Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. There's a hundred in a pack. And I wanted to give these a try and see how they compare to the Ulta brand. Um, there's more in a pack than at the Ulta brand. The Ulta brand only has 80. So we wanted to give that a try. <clears throat> Alright, then I placed an order on Weedad. They were doing... 20% um, off their leaders, so I ordered another one of my Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. Looks like this here comes with a pump right there, and then I got a little free sample pack of the moisturizing conditioner, the Curl Quencher Moisturizing Conditioner. This is my Holy Grail hair gel. I use this for years and that's what my hair likes and it keeps my curls nice and soft and not crunchy but keeps them formed and I just really like that so I got another thing of that while it was on sale and then from Holt Look I ordered one of these this is the micro needle face rolling system this little gadget that has these little fine needles in it that you're supposed to roll on your skin certain ways and it gives you the diagram on how to do it in here I thought anyway you're supposed to do it so many times this way and then so many times across anyway it's supposed to help to open up your skin so that your skincare products can penetrate better and it came in this little sealed up packet right here like you would see at a doctor's office or something but anyway it came in this little sealed up packet and it has a little case and then it just looks like this here just a little um what did i call that a micro needle derma roller roller it's only supposed to take one minute a day and I'm sorry, I'm still stuffed up. I think I'm ever going to get rid of this ear infection that I have going on. And this has 540 needles in it that are 0.25 millimeter needle depth. And um, like I said, I ordered this off of um, Hope Look. It was around, it was less than $20. And um, I mean, you can definitely, you can feel it. But it doesn't hurt. I mean, it's not any worse than using a manual scrub. It's going to be giving that a try. Let's see how that works. I don't know. Anyway, I heard um, makeup Michelle from Makeup MLC talk about them, and she swears by them on help transforming her skin. So I want to give that a try too. All right, now let's go into. Oh, let's do these two little things right here. These little deodorants right here from Dove. I got these free from Influencer. 
to um, test out. There was a men's and a ladies, and my husband and I have been testing them out. He felt like on the men's that it kept him dry and that um, it didn't irritate his underarms. He's very sensitive, so he has to be careful about what he uses or some, certain things break him out. The problem that he had with it was the fact that it's a spray. It's a dry spray, and so it creates this horrendous fog in the air, and then you start inhaling it, and I swear, every time we would use these, we would sneeze and cough and everything else so and that may be why I have all this going on who knows because it seemed like it all started when we started using these I don't recommend them I didn't like this one I have the um, the cucumber one I don't like cucumber scent so I didn't like the scent plus I didn't feel like that mine kept me dry throughout the day so I didn't like it so anyway but we did get those free from influencer to try out so we do we tried them but we didn't like them all right <clears throat> let's go <clears throat> into um let's go into Ulta now so now we're going into Ulta and I got some of my Ulta um exfoliating round cotton pads there's 80 in a pack I think they were buy one get one half so I have two of those I also did pick up the Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponges, the double packs. Again, they were buy one, get one half. So I got those. I do like using these. I like these just as well as I do the Beauty Blenders. So I got those. <clears throat> and then I got another one of my NYX eyebrow pencils in the color. What color did I get? There it is. Chocolate and chocolate. Pick that up. And then I decided I wanted to try this one from NYX. This is the NYX eyebrow pencil crayon type thing. It has a, um, a lot wider tip on it. And it has a pointed, you know, it's kind of slanted. It kind of resembles the new one that Anastasia has out. This does not stay on. I do not recommend this at all. It will just slide right off of your eyebrows. I liked the color, but it was more of a red color. And if you don't like any kind of red in your eyebrows, you definitely won't like this. It's that right there, so you can definitely tell the red in it. And this was the color. It was, what color was this? <clears throat> brown. It's in the color brown. I bought me a little magnifying glass to put on my table and I don't know what I've done with it. So I don't have my magnifying glass. So I don't I don't recommend that. Don't buy that. And then I wanted to try this little guy here and this is from iLure. It's the brow crayon and I got it in number 20 medium brown. And again it just slides off. It slides all over. I don't I don't recommend it either it looks like this here <clears throat> so so far <clears throat> excuse me the um, the NYX just the regular eyebrow pencil the micro has been the best so far now the color on this one is better than the other one it's not as red but it just it just doesn't stay on now it stays on better than than this one from NYX but those those were a waste of money and then I um, ordered I got the um, eyelash adhesive glue in the clear finish from the Vegas Nay line I wanted to get started back wearing eyelashes again <clears throat> and my glue had gone bad you would have seen that in my empties video okay then I had a couple of items that I ordered off of um, the It Cosmetic website, some brow pencils. I wanted to try these out and see how they compare to the NYX. And this is the Brow Power Super Skinny. And I got one in Universal Taupe and one in Universal Medium Brown. The Medium Brown is what I'm actually wearing on my eyebrows today. And I do like it. Um, I don't think I like it as well as my NYX as far as 
I think they both wear the same. It's just this is more expensive. I like the color, I think, of this one better than the NYX. But not enough that it's worth, you know, buying it every single time. But here's the color of it of the medium brown. Now, the Universal Taupe, I won't be able to show you the color of it because I got this out, used it once. Matter of fact, I didn't even use it a full time because I only got one eyebrow done and it was empty. It was completely empty. And I didn't, you know, wind it all the way up and break it off. It, it was just a dud. So I don't know if it was a return and it happened, you know, to get back, put back into stock or just a manufacturer's defect, but I did not get to finish using that. I didn't even get to use it once. Just one eyebrow and that was it and it was already empty. So that was wah wah. Wah wah. Alrighty. Now then I have a few things that I got from Nordstrom Rack. My daughter and I went in there and found some really good bargains. Um, first I got this from Coda Lee. <clears throat> Talk about is this here? This is from Coda Lee. This is the Vinyl Perfect Mask Peeling en en Enzymatic Peel Mask. They're supposed to have radiance in 10 minutes and it's a glycolic acid with papaya and Vinafine 200. I don't know it looks like this here. Hope you can see that. And it was. It was marked $11.97. It was normally $40. It was marked $11.97. But when it rang up, it rang up for $6. So I got a really good buy on that. And it's a pretty good size. It is a 1.7 ounce. So I'm going to be giving this a try. Still sealed up. <clears throat> so I got that. And then, I was really excited about this. This was the deal of the century. This was from Laura Mercier. This is one of the kits that she came out with back during the holiday. This is a $118 value. It sold on the Nordstrom website and anywhere else I think that it was sold for $79. And I got mine for $15. $15 for this which I mean that is that's a steal I and it comes with a mascara which is the um, what is this what kind of mascara is this um the full-blown volume mascara which I have tried it is a good mascara and then it came with this little eyeshadow palette here and this little faux leather type casing and it also has a blush in the middle of it and I am um, wearing this today on my eyes I am wearing from um, this side of the palette here <laughs> Anyway, it has the blush called Bellini, which is beautiful. I have this blush on too. It's really pretty. There's a little bit of sparkle in it, but not a whole lot, which is fine because, you know, we're getting ready to go into spring and summer, and that is a pretty color. It has the colors um, Vanilla Kiss, Cappuccino, Pink Haze, and Brown Sugar, and I'm wearing the Vanilla Kiss, the Cappuccino, and the Brown Sugar. So we'll do a little swatch of that. <clears throat> just very, very light. I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see them because it's just a very, very light, everyday wearable type eyeshadows. I mean, Laura Mercier eyeshadows are just beautiful, especially for mature women. Um, you can definitely build them up because I did build up a little bit. I have this color here, brown sugar, on the outside, and I did build that up a little bit. I have this color here as my eyeliner, which is called Gunmetal. Anyway, so I got that. 
But the best thing about getting this is that, and it being such a good deal, is I got another one. I got two, and this one is going to be for a giveaway. So, um, if you've stuck with me to the very end of this video, you are going to be rewarded because I'm going to be giving one of you a full kit of this. I'm brand new, and all you got to do is just make a comment in the description box and just let me know what your favorite brand of um, high-end eyeshadows are. That's all I want to know. Very simple. So anyway, um, that is it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you 